Hey, what's up everybody? It's Damron. I'm playing the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We're getting all the platinum relics and all the gems throughout the games. We are on the first game, Crash Bandicoot, level three, the Great Gate. Uh, we're gonna show you how to get the platinum relic, which is 48.07 seconds, very fast. Again, for the achievement, you only need the gold relic, so keep that in mind if you're having trouble getting platinum. But we'll show the platinum run here. We're gonna break it down a little bit slower after that, and then we'll do our box run to get the gem. So let's go ahead and watch a full playthrough in full speed and then we'll break it down a little bit slower to help you get through this mission. So there you have it. There's a platinum relic run at 46.31 seconds. So a pretty decent time. So let's go ahead and go back through that. We're going to break it down a little bit. Again, we're on the third mission. So still not too challenging yet, but we're going to grab that clock. The first thing you're going to want to do when you hit these kind of jump steel boxes, you need to press A when you're hitting them to be able to get the height you need to get up to the next level. Be sure you grab that Aku Aku mask as well as all of those time boxes right there in the initial section. All of them are very important. One of the thing about this mission and all the missions that have these kind of turtle enemies Spin a little bit before you think you need to because the hitbox of their tail and their head will kind of surprise you You'll be like, oh, I wasn't really that close, but all of a sudden you're taking damage So keep that in mind. I tend to spin a little bit before I even think I need to uh, this part right here is pretty straightforward. We're just kind of running along the path here. Make sure, again, we're getting those time boxes. You do need to jump up and spin to make this platform be available to you to jump on in order to get to the next level. You don't have to do a large jump on the first two boxes, but you will need to press A in order to make it to the next top level up here. Once we get up here, we've got a turtle and another rolling monkey to deal with. Uh, but after those two, be careful with this turtle here. We want to not kill him. And then once he's flipped over, over, we can jump on his belly and press A to get enough height to get that time box again these time boxes on this mission are pretty critical you should have your Aku Aku mask but there's a second one here so in case you've taken any damage and at this point uh, you're gonna be dealing with these shield enemies and these can be a little bit frustrating if you get too close they'll knock you back um, as they're approaching you just need to jump over their head which they'll put their shield on their head you can then land on the shield or just you know and then jump over you could kind of do spin to kill them from behind but once you're past them the speed run just focus on advantage Advancing forward so here's another one jump up boom he'll put the shield on his head and that'll allow you to jump over once you get to this point I really don't worry about the obstacles anymore because you should have your Aku Aku mask and now I'm just running because I have two masks available to me at this point so I literally don't stop even if I get hit by something it's no big deal and I can jump to the final point and get that platinum relic time so not too bad of a level it's not too tricky again we're early on in the game these things are gonna get a lot harder so now let's do our box run for the great gate um, in this there are 38 boxes to get the first few are right there in the very beginning now you do need to have the yellow gem from the lab level in order to get all the gems in this level okay so again there are 38 there is a bonus level as well as an area that we can only get to with the yellow gem so I'm going to show you that or link that um, in the description as well as here and at the end of the video um, you do need to finish the lab uh, you need to have that yellow gem to be able to do this so keep that in mind so we're just kind of progressing forward again uh, similar to our speed run I really do like to get this mask up here um, but we don't have to really worry about speed too much I am going you know a little bit fast as I did mention in a previous video I do like to go for the speed run first because a lot of the times that's going to give you enough deaths in these levels 
to start with a two times Aku Aku mask. So basically, every time you pick up a mask, it's going to be the third one and you'll be invincible. Um, they base that on how many times you've died in a level. So if you've died a lot of times, when you come into the level, you'll start with that two times Aku mask. Again, with the bonus levels, there's 11 in here. Keep in mind that if you die or you miss a box, it's okay. Just go ahead and fall off, and you can come back into and repeat the bonus level. This one's pretty easy. There's 11 boxes to have. Keep in mind that TNT box is one of the 11, so you need to blow that up. Um, but for any reason, if you fail, just don't exit via that portal. Just kill yourself. If there's a box you missed, you can repeatedly come into this portal in order to finish that. Now, once you get to the end, you'll see you're at 30 of 38. And as long as you have that yellow gem from the lab, you can hop onto that little platform and it's gonna allow you to bypass that portion that ends the level. And it's gonna allow us to continue on. One of the boxes that people miss frequently is right here. Okay, this box to the right. Be sure you pick that box, uh, that box up before you head to the top level and progress on. So when you get up here and you hit that box, you should be at 32 of 38. Now there is one also behind the gate. I'll show you where to get, the, or behind this wall, actually in the background, you can't see it. I'll show you where to get that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on again, another shield enemy. So we're gonna do that same attack. Uh, when we get to this, uh, we're making our way on these fires. They will uh, kind of bounce you up when you land on them. Uh, so you can see that there, that's where that shield got really, uh, it's really annoying. Uh, when they do that so we're just going to take our time wait for these to go up and then we're going to spin on this bunkie and we have a double fire jump to get across once you get past that and you're at these kind of downward sloped uh, platforms and then another one that's sloped up this is where uh, we're almost to the point where we're going to jump over the wall so hit this fire and you can see the spike on this wood is missing right from the third one right in the middle you can jump up there and we're going to be able to fall behind the wall Okay, so now I'm at 35 of 38 boxes. We're gonna make our way left a little bit. Right behind this painted post is the box. You saw me spin and you heard a little box break. That was box 36. So again, before you leave that area, you should have 36 of 38 boxes. If you don't have 38 or 36, then you've missed one somewhere. As long as you have 36, now we can just progress on. And we're actually at the end of the level. We've got a little section where we're gonna spin on these to make these platforms available to us. Our 37th box is right here. And then we're gonna spin on that. And we're gonna jump up this kind of jump box all the way up to the top. So there's one here. And we're gonna go up to the third one, which is gonna take us up to our final box that we need to jump off of in order to get enough height to hit that final jump box and collect our clear gem in the great gate so that is the clear gem in this mission as well as the platinum relic so i hope you guys found that helpful as always having a blast playing through this i hope you're enjoying the videos as well as the platinum run breakdowns in half speed i hope that's helpful and hopefully i'll see you in the next video